And welcome guys, Nixie here, and this is Unmod TV, where we continue with the Let's Play A Supreme League of Patriots, issue 1 We are ready to enter On stage Okay, you can go ahead and audition freely now, I have your information Before you go though, do you have any stage experience or would you like some advice? Please baby Any stage experience? I'll have you know that everyone was very impressed with my bottom at the Suncat Summer Festival on Staten Island last year. My bottom? Oh, really? You were in a Midsummer Night's Dream? No, he climbed up on stage and mooned the audience <laughs> during the first interval. <laughs> I got a mention in the New York Ledger. Well done. Well, you didn't actually get your name printed. No, but the arresting officer did. <laughs> One critic said he'd never laughed so much during a performance of Death of a Salesman. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hype. What? He's with me as well? The hell? Best your own strength. Treadmill? What kind of show is this? Penelope? Stefan? Oh, those are the judges. I think this is just here to make the place look nice. Everyone likes a nice blue sky, don't they? No. You're so naive, it's not even funny. In a past life, I reckon you were one of the Christians lining up at the Colosseum saying, Oh look, lions, I love <laughs> a visit to the zoo. <laughs> okay, what's our goal? None. It's Penelope, the sexy songstress turned superhero judge. Yeah. She had a famous music video where she danced with a cartoon cat. People don't give her the credit she deserves. I think they're bashing That's on somebody. That's true. It's not easy to be upstaged by a cartoon cat. <laughs> it's Tafarin, the bitchy British judge of America's Got Superpowers. He's heterosexual, in case you were wondering. One of the things that people always notice about Stefan is how damn heterosexual he is. <laughs> it's Kirk. He used to be in a detective show where he drove a Trans Am and sported a perm. He's the guy that all the postmenopausal women throw their spanks at. <laughs> He's very popular in Germany. So was Goebbels, but he's not a talent show judge. If he was, I'd dread to think what the elimination rounds would be like. I'm a Jew, get me out of here. Damn Jew. It's a treadmill. I have to get it up to the maximum setting if I want to prove that I can move fast enough to be a superhero. Really? Hmm, that's odd. What is? Most treadmills have 10 speed settings, but this one goes to 11. Shit, so you're gonna need to cheat here somehow? Fine. Well, let's talk. Or should I use it? Nah. You're getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you, mate? Get ahead of myself? I don't think it's possible <laughs> to run that fast. I mean, shouldn't you pass the strength test before you start the other tests? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose you're right. I wouldn't want to bite off more than I can chew. Your waistline suggests you're capable of chewing a considerable <laughs> amount. <laughs> 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 Bitches, let's talk to them. The heterosexual. May I speak with you, your highness? Consuela, one of the contestants is trying to speak to me again. Could you call security? Well, apparently security have gone home for the afternoon, so I guess you may speak with me after all. What a douche. I'll be back. I'll be back. That's all I could say. I'm all a quiver with anticipation. <laughs> God damn it. Let's speak to that sexy. Penelope, come on, speak. Miss Penelope, could I ask you a few questions? I don't see this on my script. 
Jonathan, why isn't this on my script? You know, mate, it's not often that you get into a conversation where the person you're talking to is intellectually out of their depth. <laughs> but I think it might have happened again. I think the last time was when you thought that talking photo booth was a man in a mobility scooter. What do you mean just say the first thing that comes into my head? You know what happens when I do that. Last time, I nearly ended up on a date with Kelsey Grammer. <sighs> What about that guy at the bodega with the shriveled eye who always <laughs> cuts himself on the cheese slicer? Stumpy? Puh, you wish. You know he stopped cutting himself so often now. Really? How come? They've stopped him from slicing the cheese whiz. Why can't my personal assistant talk to them instead? Yes, I know she went off to do that little favor for me, but how long can you possibly serve for hit and run? <laughs> I should wow. just ask her whatever you want to ask, mate. I'm not even sure there's anyone on the other end of that earpiece. I get that's the I should thing. probably get back to these tests. Okay, I'm going to go back to figuring out which of these buttons gets me another latte. Classic judges, okay. Oh man, I love these machines. I only have to touch one of these and the indicator zooms up and shatters the little bulb on top. Sure. No, mate. You're thinking of a blood pressure monitor. Oh. There's a monitor like that? Best your might. I don't think we're supposed to play around with the props before the audition begins. Oh, how to begin the audition? Hello? You can tell we're short on contestants this year. They're even inviting the commissioners to take part in the auditions. <laughs> huh? Who's keeping the undesirables out while you're in here? Yeah, I thought they were just directed straight to your dressing room. Don't try to be a smart ass, son. Sorry, didn't mean to encroach on your territory. Oh. I don't really need to ask which one of you is the purple patriot, do I? <laughs> I am. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. I normally have to rely on Louis Walsh for that. <laughs> oh, Stefan, you're so funny. Aww. So you didn't let your Bitch. wardrobe malfunction stop you from entering the contest, huh? <laughs> oh, crap, really? Not your zipper, dopey. So who's your friend? That's Mel. He's not taking part. He's just here to lend me moral support. Yes, it takes a lot of guts to get up on that stage. Fortunately, you've got a lot of gut to spare. <laughs> to make the odd snide comment when the opportunity arises. Well, now you're definitely encroaching on my territory. Let me explain how the contest works. Each contestant is set three challenges to prove they have what it takes to be a great superhero. Pass all three and you win through to boot camp. I'll do my best. Don't go to too much trouble. You'll be one of the joke contestants that we put on for the viewers to laugh at. Ooh. I'll prove you wrong. I'll put on an audition you can't possibly say no to. Nice. I admire your balls, kid. With trousers that tight, we don't really have much choice. <laughs> <laughs> the first challenge is a challenge of strength. You may use any of your powers to achieve it. Well, gentlemen, the standard this year is lower than ever, <laughs> so the stage is all yours. That's added. Well, use. Stand back. I'm going to hit this harder than it's ever been hit before. Uh -oh. Try not to break anything. Don't worry, it's a pretty sturdy machine. Sure. I meant anything of yours. He automatically grabbed the hammer. Oh my. Whoa. I've seen bigger muscles on a seafood platter. <laughs> <laughs> I think Penelope is weak as water. Achievement unlocked. Penelope is the same voice as Samantha. He's just acting. Just me. Just probably. Check it out, so... What's the goal? In order to progress, I need to pass three tests. The first test... 
test your strike machine on the stage. All he needs to do is hit the plate with the hammer and make the bell ring. All he needs to do. Right, because it's that simple. What's this? It's a wad of toilet paper. It's much softer and more luxurious than the kind we have at the apartment. <laughs> If we bought the quilted stuff at home, at the rate you use it, we couldn't afford to eat. Damn. The shots were fired, so what, we somehow need to use this? The test your strength is all one, I think. How are we gonna make it go? Talk to Mel. Here's this. Mel. Talk. Same shit as ever. Okay, so. Four tiles. This tile appears to be slightly loose. I think I could get my fingernail underneath it and lift it right up. I can't take you anywhere, can I? You're always dismantling things. <laughs> I'm still recovering from that trip to Legoland. Definitely dismantle this. See what contraption can we do? Oh. There, under the tile is a grate, behind which is a large fan. What? Really? Saying what you like about Marilyn Monroe, but she really knew how to make air conditioning seem interesting. It's part of the studio's air conditioning. I have no idea why it's embedded in the floor, though. You have underfloor heating. Why not underfloor cooling? Because it's useless. That's why the AC is always at the top, because there is the, the heat is the biggest to cool that air. Why should we cool the coldest air in the room? I don't know. It's part of... You have underfloor... Well, can we pick something? No. Speak to Kirk. It help. I rem You'll have to be a lot more specific than that, bud. I've been in a lot of shows. Really? I can only think of one. Back in the eighties, that was a hot property. Hmm. You know, TV Guide listed me as number three in the ones to watch Hot One Hundred. Oh yeah, I remember that. Right behind Corey Haim and Richard Greco, weren't you? Oh, there we go. I need to butter him up. You were in that show with a talking car, weren't you? That's just one of the shows I did. I was in a lot of different shows, bud. Do you and the car still keep in touch? <laughs> uh, not really. They melted it down to make scaffolding for one of Joan Rivers' facelifts. But that show with the car isn't the only show I ever did. I did a lot of comedy and serious drama, too. Oh, yeah. Can't forget that guest appearance in season six of Mr. Belvedere. Hey, bud, don't forget about the three months I spent in Chicago Hope. I don't remember him from that show. I think he means when he was hospitalized with alcohol poisoning. Need to butter him up. You were in that show with a. T oh, that's it's the same shit. Sh Do you. Uh, okay, let's oh, yeah. Hey, bud. Try to help. I think he means when he was. They're bashing on somebody, but I don't get the reference. Do you have any advice that might help me with this strength test? Well, you know, I was in some pretty big TV shows in the 80s. Really? How come you never talk about them? Why don't you do what I used to do on my lifeguard show when I had to pull off a feat of superhuman oh, physical I knew strength? That. Really? I didn't know we were allowed to use body doubles. Ha! You know your life sucks when you get zinged by Kyle. <laughs> so, that's the wife guard. Yeah. What was his name of the dude? That's why they're bashing him. Now I got it. So we can use. Thanks for all the help, dude. 
Sure, bud. But I didn't do much to help. See, mate? I told you people can't tell when you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Twist pick. Miss Penelope. I should just ask her whatever you want to ask, mate. Yeah. I'm really struggling with the strength test. Can That's you think it. of anything that might help? You could try eating a lot of spinach. Sure. Isn't that supposed to have a major effect on your strength? The main effect spinach has is producing purines, which the body turns into uric acid. That agagagaga sound that Popeye makes. That's him passing another kidney stone. Not funny, mate. Damn. I should... I'm back again. You're harder to get rid of than genital warts, aren't you? <laughs> and not nearly so appealing. The strength test is really kicking my ass. It'll have to be careful. It doesn't get its foot wedged in there. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you you're all heart? People usually tell me I'm all mouth and trousers. Well, you do have your waistband just beneath your armpits. Wow. I'll be back. So they can't help me. Stand back. I'm... Best. Try not might. to I Okay, so we're back to clueless. Uh, I've seen bigger muscles on us. <laughs> what about the treadmill? You're getting a little. Yeah. I mean. We had that. Hmm. Your waistline suggests you're. <laughs> <laughs> I use the microphone. You've already introduced yourself, mate. I think it's time to let your actions do the talking now. I think we need to change the. So what? Let's take the toilet paper. If we can use it somewhere. Like here. It's part. Can do it. You have okay. underfloor heating. I think. You're so not. Well. Are we gonna win the show? I guess I'll cut a little bit till I figure it out. And as always, just as I just as I stopped recording, uh, he said, Mel said, that that bathroom we can get we can flood it, and then the reception is gonna get. That yeah, bathroom see? looks a bit swanky. That's what I he bet said. the receptionist would do a nut if someone flooded it. Just saying. So I guess we're gonna go flood the bathroom. I thought I need to do something just on this stage. But oh well. Let's go. Fuck about the receptionist. That dude is here. Speak to him this time. Don't mind the music. Excuse me. Da. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Did he just call me stupid? Yep. He didn't say duh. He's Russian. He said da. It means yes. Don't be so stupid. Do you speak English? <laughs> See? Like a native. <laughs> Are you here for the auditions as well? Duh. Will you stop asking him yes no questions? <laughs> Duh. I mean yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's talk to the dude. Are you the only contestant here? Aren't there any other superheroes or villains? Oh sure, he's skinny woman in red costume around somewhere. He keep going outside to take phone calls. Perhaps she's moonlighting for a taxi company. <laughs> Have you seen any other superheroes today? One other. Very strange man. He keep looking at me funny. He go for fresh air. 
fresh air, huh? Mel, if you were looking for a bit of fresh air, where would you go? In the toilet. Iowa. <laughs> he say something about the park east of here. You really going to look for him? Of not. Why not? It never hurts to check out the competition. Rather you than me. What made okay, you decide to this. enter the contest? If I win contest, they have to give me green cards so that I can fulfill contractual obligations. Smart. Why do you want to leave Russia? I hope to defect. I belong to FSB in Moscow. Ooh. What position? Do you play in goal? <laughs> it's not football team. It's no name for KGB. So, why do you want to defect? When I was senior agent in KGB, during Cold War, I was expected to kill anyone who disagreed with Soviet government. So. And you didn't want to kill people? Of course I wanted to kill people. <laughs> How do you think I became senior agent in KGB? Nice. So then why leave? It's boring. Nothing left to do. Since Cold War ended, Russian Secret Service have not much work. Surely Russia must still have enemies. Not many. You are Americans and British keep invading countries and pissing people off. <laughs> people forget all of shit we used to pull. Do you know any other supervillains? Just because I am Russian means I must be villain. Yes. You Americans are always so quick to judge. Thought you were here. Actually, hero? I suspect it was the love of killing people when you were in the KGB <laughs> that tipped him off. He's fair point. So, do you know anyone? I used to date Magma Maiden. Was she hot? <laughs> in every sense. She melted my heart. Damn. That must have been a steamy affair. <laughs> da, but we had to stop seeing each other. The puzzle just keep what? piling on. After a while, her magma core started to melt the ice core of my body whenever she was in close proximity. I had to start wearing this waterproof costume to stop myself melting from inside out. Damn, so he's Dr. Sounds ice. nasty. Da, after a while I was like walking snow cone. <laughs> Nobody wants limp superhero. Least of all a fiery redhead. I failed my first audition. Can you give me any tips on how to impress the judges? Oh, he... Penelope impressed by muscles. So, make chowder? <laughs> I mean she impressed by big strong manly men. After all that time sitting next to Stefan, I can see how she'd fancy a change. Do you have any real superpowers? Sure. Of KGB course. Agents. During Cold War, Soviet Union have many secret weapons programs. Soviet scientists were best involved. Well, they didn't manage to successfully brainwash anyone, did they? Not like the Yanks did with MK Ultra. Soviet brains harder to wash. <laughs> so what type of powers do you have? All of my powers related to ice. Why ice? Coming from Siberia. Research was carried out in a remote Russian village called Oymikron. You ever Oymikron. been to Oymikron? <laughs> no. Hmm, <laughs> I'd have to check my passport. There's no need for sunscreen. Average temperature minus 15. <laughs> Sounds a bit like Buffalo. It's a horrible place. No work, no social life, nothing to do. Landscape is bleak and inhospitable. It's arsehole of the entire country. <laughs> wow. Sounds a lot like Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you spray out a stream of ice in front of you and then surf along it? Yet, I can spray ice, but cannot surf on it. I have a very poor sense of balance. 
How come? I got hit in the head a lot when I have a stunt double in Rocky IV. Oh. See? I knew it. I think I have ice based superpowers too. What make you say that? When I hold an ice cube in my hands, it melts. Do you think that means I have special powers? Yeah. Super no, that head. just means you're special, mate. <laughs> Very special. <laughs> okay, enough about superpowers. I wanted to talk about some. Suit yours. Because we talked about everything. Bye. I should go. We should go as well. Then go. I'm not stopping you. That hit perfect English. Okay. Well. Oh, there's a speaker I didn't check before. No. I can use the speaker? This speaker is hooked up to the stage. I think it's so the receptionist can hear when they're ready for the next contestant. Actually, it's because Stefan can't bear to think that there's a room in the building where his voice can't be heard. <laughs> He'd have one in the toilets if there weren't regulations. Okay, well, time to save and we'll continue next time, guys. I'm Jinxie and this is Avenbot TV with a Let's Play of Supreme League of Patriots, Issue 1. A Patriot is born. Play the video, follow the channel. Thanks for watching.